Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you news on events and occurrences from across the world, particularly in Nigeria. If this is your first time on this channel, can you subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you can get notification whenever a new post is updated. Once again, welcome on board to Everyday Affairs. Alright people, another wonderful news for you says, Major contenders as Buhari compiles ministerial lists. The battle for ministerial appointments has peaked significantly in the last few weeks, even as President Muhammad Buhari is said to be preparing a final list of those he wants in his cabinet due for announcement anytime soon. Unfortunately, for a majority of party leaders, the president has kept the information about his next level cabinet to himself alone. The very reason the APC governors, after a meeting last week, considered the choice of cabinet members as entirely the president's prerogative. In Lagos State, for example, while the appointment is strictly between two former governors, Babatunde Raji Fashola and Akewumi Ambodi, there is the understanding that while Fashola, who was Minister of Power, Works and Housing, may return representing the Lagos slots, Ambodi is being considered for the Southwest slots. The situation in River State is still believed to favor former Minister of Transportation, Mr. Rutimi Amichi, but there are those who feel the governorship candidate of the party, Mr. Tonye Cole, who was denied the opportunity to cha of challenging Governor Nyesom Wike of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, by different courts, is also being considered. The slot for Delta State is a straight slug fest between former Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Dr. Ibe Kachiku, and the President's campaign spokesperson for the 2019 election, Mr. Festus Kiyamu San. Kiyamo feels he did well fending off the president's opponent without apologies and as such deserves a cabinet shot. In Ogun State, the choice of candidates is Wale Edun, Pastor Tunde Bakari, and one Mr. Kayode Odeshola, but neither of the last two candidates is believed to have sweeping support of stakeholders in the state. In Oyo State, the battle is between Mr. Adebayo Adelabu and former Oyo State Governor Abiola Ajimobi. Adelabu is said to be eyeing Minister of Finance, and further compounding this is the fact that the former Minister of Communications, Adebayo Shitu, is also in contention for the slot from the state, but Buhari might have made his choice already. Al Haji Lai Mohammed is believed to be itching to come back as the Kwara State candidate for the ministerial post. But he does not appear to have the much needed support from home as a majority of the people feel the opportunity should go to other parts of the state for balancing. Former Governor George Akume of Benue State and the immediate past Minister of Agriculture Chief Aldu Ogwe are the two candidates for the Benue State slot. Not only are the not only are the both of them qualified, they both also work for Buhari's re-election. The stakes are therefore high in Benue State. Currently, the Kano slot appears a solo run for the former Minister of Interior, Abdurrahman Dambazu, except the President changes his mind, which many believed is unlikely. Former Minister of State for Aviation, Hadi Sirika, and Senator Abu Ibrahim are the two top guns for the Senate State slots. Between the former Minister of State of Power for Power, Works and Housing, Mustafa Baba Shehuri, and the former Borno State Governor Kashim Shetima, the slot for a ministerial slot would be settled in the Northeast states. In Kaduna State, while the name of Senator Shehu Sani, who fell out with Governor Nasser El Rufai ahead of the 2019 election, has been flying around. One Banabas Bala Bantex has also come up strong in the equation. Ebony State has before it has before it its 2019 governorship candidate, Senator Sonny Obuoji, and immediate past Minister of Science and Technology, Obunaya Onu. Apart from this being an APC affair, there is also the belief that the governor of the state, David Umahi, might play a very serious role in the eventual choice for the state because his relationship with Buhari and APC. 
To slot it out in Bauchi are the immediate past governor of the state, Mohammed Abdullahi Abubakar, and former minister of education, Adamu Adamu, one of the closest allies of the president. The choice here is also a tricky one, which means a peak somewhat difficult. The former minister of Delta State, the former minister of Niger Delta, Usaini Usaini, and governorship candidate of the APC in Cross River, Senator John Eno, had since taken their rivalry to the ministerial bout, having fought fiercely over who has the authentic governorship candidate of the state in the state. The three of Gosul Akpabio Nsima Ikeri and Udo, Udo Udoma are to battle for the acquired bomb slot, while Udoma is the former minister of budget and planning. Ikeri flew the APC flag, for, uh, flag as its governorship candidate and lost, same as Akpabio who could not return to the Senate. The battle for the slot here is considered a serious and tough one because it is more about political relevance. Although there is a belief that President Buhari might drop his former Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, he appears the only candidate for the slot for KB states. He is itching to return. Nothing is, however, cast in stone as far as his consideration is concerned. For the Sokoto state slot, the battle is currently described as one between Aisha Abubakar, former Minister of State for Trade and Investment, and the APC candidate in the just-concluded governorship election, Ahmed Aliu. Former Adawa, Adamawa State Governor Mohamed Bindu Jirila appears comfortable as the most plausible candidate from the state, having lost his election in March this year. Also in Taraba, Fatima Gambo is said as being positioned as the ideal replacement for Aisha Al Hassan. However, people, what are your thoughts on this? We'd like to hear from you to know what you feel. Thank you.